This is your favorite regular razor uploader. Yeah, you tell him. Okay, so the cross the top is what you need for doing your backups, and then the bottom is what you need if you want to test it without destroying your operating system disk. VMware Player, which is free, non-commercial use. You need another drive to restore your actual volume data. And this will have to be at least the size of the drive that you want to recover. And what I'm showing you now is the ISO file that we're going to use to boot up. And also location of where I'm actually going to restore the data to. And then on the R drive, which is where my backups go to, there's my backup image. What we need to do is now create a virtual machine. Install an operating system later. Microsoft 64. Well, anything you like, I'm going to go test recovery. We just put one for now. Finish. And we need to edit the settings. Delete the hard drive. And now we're going to have to add a hard drive. It has to be a new virtual disk. And this needs to be the size of your internal NVMe hard drive or whatever drive you got all the data on. And if you split it like this, it will only restore the amount of data you've actually got on there. Let's browse where we want to put the well, our recovered volume, if you like. Let's stick it in there. Finish. Now we need to tell it to boot off the ISO image. Not that one, is it? It's the, this one. Okay. Uh, just for now, to give a bit of memory. And some extra processes. And, uh, Start the machine. It looks extra tiny on my uh, screen because I'm on a 4K display and when you boot it in DOS and things like that, it's a lower resolution, like 640, 480. And what you're seeing here by booting up the ISO image, it's the same as booting up your hardware from an external USB drive for recovery. There's a macro reflect recovery boot. Right, now what we need to do is attach the USB drive with our backup image on. And for me, it's this one here. Give me a warning here, it's going to take it off your machine, your physical machine, and attach it to your virtual. Just OK. And now we use this option here, which is browse for a backup image. And there's the, the HD drive. There's my backup image. Say OK. Restore images. Select the drive you want to. There's our 500 gig drive. And then you don't, you can do all of them, but we only want to test, speed things up because it's quite slow. This is a Windows boot drive, and this is a Windows C drive. And then we just let it finish. But as a one off test, or say do it once a month, depends how often you change your machines. Okay, so the backup recovery is finished. Now we need to now close down Back and Reflect, and this will take a little while. And what it's kind of doing now is sorting out the boot sequence. And it will reboot itself. So be patient on this point. OK. 
Okay, it's booted up. And it's still a small size because we haven't actually installed the VMware tools. Wait for it all finish. Let's see, it's already picked up the network. Now we need to install the VMware tools. Watch a little DVD drive there, just open it. Run the setup. I mean, to prove it's worked or not, you don't probably need to do this. If it's come up like this, you're probably good enough. But if this was like your university machine or a Word office, you might just want to test all the programs load up and oh, OK. Do a little reboot it. Now, you don't actually have to test this on your source backup device. You can actually do this on another machine. Okay, let's go and change the display settings. Okay, looking good. And so once you've tested your programs, your apps and everything else, you're thinking, well, I don't want this machine anymore. So I'll show you how to just clean up after you. Load up your VMware again. Now you can either delete the machine or you're thinking, well, I don't want to go creating it every time. So you can just edit the machine there. And all you really need to do is get rid of the, the disk. And doing that doesn't actually delete the disk, unattaches it, if you like, from this virtual machine. And you can close that down. That's why I created a fold right click. Delete that lot. Okay. That's how you test your backups to see if they work without having to actually restore it over your initial hardware. Questions, answers, problems, post them. Thank you. Bye.